everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a lifestyle hair and beauty video. We are going to be doing our follow-up for the coconut oil challenge. So if you guys are ready, let's just go ahead, short intro, and get into the video. I found someone on YouTube, try this, and I will go ahead and link the original video that I saw down below in my description box. But I saw her try this coconut oil challenge, and she went all summer, so I believe that was about three months of doing a coconut oil hair mask in her hair one to two times a week for three months and she had shininess length fullness and her hair just looked all around really well really nice really pretty really blonde and everything in my hair was not about two or three months ago when I tried this so I decided that I was gonna go ahead and try this long story short I had taped in hair extensions for about six to eight months and when I took those off I think I cried a little bit. My hair was probably like this thick for my whole head. So now I'm like double that. And it was so dead on the end. It was short. It wasn't even crazy short. It was just really dead and dry. And I'll go ahead and put this overlay video right here. This is me on the first day trying out this um, coconut oil challenge. You can see this is on August 19th um, of this year. And this is, you know, six plus months past having the tape and extensions, but my hair was still just so gross. I had been taking the biotin vitamins and that was helping, um, but I just couldn't figure out a way to help my hair grow faster and fuller and honestly just look really nice. Now, yes, my hair is grown out. Um, the color on the end is an ugly color my root is the brown part that's my natural color so I was letting my hair grow out because I was planning on getting it darkened like I have here I did this just a few days ago but that was why I decided to try this coconut oil challenge because I was trying to give my hair a lot of time and rest and no straightener no blow drying no tugging on it um trying to challenge it to not have to be washed every few days and going longer with that and just trying to do things to help my hair grow and get back to at least the way it was before i had these tape and extensions after two or three months of doing this i'll go ahead and i'll grow it out and then i'll go get my hair done because i was trying to just leave it alone for a little bit after having so much color in it and the extensions and just so much for my hair so I went about two months. I took that first video August 19th and I took my second video November 4th. I guess to September, September to October. So we went about two and a half months or so, give or take a little bit of doing this. Now there were some weeks that I went only once a week and there's a couple weeks that I didn't do it at all because of just when the days fell, when I tried to wash my hair. Basically I did this twice a week whenever I washed my hair. Um, sometimes I'd wash it a third time and not do it, but I tried to do this once to twice a week with a goal of two times a week. I, what I would do is I would go ahead and sleep in this. So I would put this lather it all over my hair and this is the coconut oil I was using. I got this at Trader Joe's. It was like six bucks. Um, this is what all it is. It was pretty generous with this when I used it. What I would do is I'd go ahead, I'd brush my hair out. If it was dirty, whatever, I would take this, I'd lather this scrub it into my scalp and really massage my head to kind of get everything moving. I'd lather it on on the end and I'd take a really stretchy ponytail and just wrap my hair up into a little bun and wrap it twice so it wasn't yanking on my hair and then I'd sleep with that. Just put a towel over my pillow if you have an old pillow sheet case that you can go ahead and use that. But I went ahead and did that and I'd sleep in it and then wash it out the next morning. Now washing it out is the tricky part. The girl that I watched do this, she washed her hair two times as in shampoo and conditioner two different times and then the oil was all out. The very first time that I tried this I did wash my hair shampoo and conditioner twice and I just felt like that was a lot for my hair and that it was too much so further than going on past that I would just go ahead and do shampoo once rinse it all out shampoo a second time rinse it all out and then just lather my hair and conditioner and try to let it sit. This is the conditioner that I use it's the ever straightening Brazilian keratin therapy condition I really really like this. Um, I found this actually when I was looking for a new conditioner and I was so stoked on it because it was the keratin and honestly using this my hair is a lot softer but enough about the conditioner we're not here for the conditioner we're here for the coconut oil so that's what I would do I'd sleep in it and then wash it out and I'd be good to go now and show you the pictures together um the way I kind of watched my progress with my hair was where my roots were growing down to so as you can see in the first video it's about like 
maybe mid head or so um you can tell in the back that it's about mid head as to where my darkness and my root color is you can see that the brown is a about the base of my neck so it grew quite a bit and if you look at the bottom of my hair you can see that it grew a few inches now over those two and a half or so months that I had the treatment I cut my hair twice maybe no more than an inch maybe two inches if even that so I did go ahead and cut my hair twice with that I was trying to keep it as healthy as possible and like I said let my natural color grow down for as long as I could so you can see that my hair did grow quite a bit over that two and a half months um, I don't know if you can tell because the my hair is just so such an ugly color the blonde but my hair did feel a lot softer and smoother after I started using the coconut oil I'm not sure if you can really fully tell just the blonde kind of makes my split end stand out more it's not even really a blonde it just looks like someone crapped on my hair you can kind of see that it has grown a little bit but for me without looking at the ends of my hair just because of how gross and um, how bad the color is I looked at the root to see where my hair is growing so I'd say it grew quite a few I mean if you're talking about mid head to the base of my neck that's a a pretty good chunk of hair that I could say that it has grown when I went to the person that did my hair the other day she said that you know I did have some breakage throughout the center of my hair but it wasn't crazy bad and I think that's because the coconut oil definitely helped kind of infuse all that and just send some healthiness up to my roots and like I said when I put it in I'd really massage out my head if you guys want I can show you a video on exactly how I put in the coconut oil and how I go about it and how I wash it out um, but I decided that I'd let you guys decide if you want that and if so I'll throw it into another video this is something that I plan on doing maybe not as much um, but maybe every once in a while kind of like a hair mask not do it all the time but doing it you know maybe once every couple weeks the goal was to have my hair healthier and longer before I got my hair done so I wasn't just throwing more chemicals and more crap onto it after having the extensions out so I think that my hair has grown pretty well um, when I went to the salon she kind of just cleaned up my ends because it wasn't very straight so I'd say my hair is pretty long like I said so I've probably trimmed my hair three or four times throughout starting the coconut oil so I'd say with trimming it three or four times and having it be maybe a little bit longer than the original um, that's great now what I've noticed is that the bangs of my hair are all longer my hair color like I said was grown out longer my natural color and um, the thickness of my hair has grown so my hair may not look as long but with the trimming of the dead ends and the ugliness at the ends I feel that I've noticed that it has been growing and been growing a lot because my bangs right here are all pretty long I have these little hairs right here that are a pretty good length too and these right here um, and I would trim those a little bit but I think just because they were more towards the top I barely had any blonde on these just maybe that last little bit so I think that's too where I've noticed it is more in the root of my hair with how fast my color grew down my natural color and then the top of my hair all these little bangs how fast they've grown so I did you know chop off a good amount of the ends so it doesn't look like it's grown as much but I have cut off a probably a good amount but I feel like I'm rambling a lot so I'm gonna kind of end this video but like I said this is the coconut oil challenge I guess you could call it for your hair I did this for about two and a half months I noticed a lot of healthiness and shininess and that my hair grew pretty fast and but I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions about this what treatments may work for you what you do to help your hair grow if you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think I'll go ahead and link the original video that gave me this idea down below in the description box and link anything else that you guys need to know I'll list all my favorite hair care products that I feel have helped my hair grow and get thick and just not as frizzy over these last couple months since I had my extensions. I'll go ahead and link my extensions video down below for you guys as well so you can check that out and see my experience with that. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all in the next